more awesome Lancer action. Uh, we started off with our heroes having been sent to rescue, uh, at first what they thought was a simple terraforming mission on top of a moon uh, station. They soon discovered that beneath the surface of this moon was this ancient computer that had been stirred into uh, sort of a panic after a pirate attack. And in an attempt to defend itself, this computer took over the terraforming device and was trying to layer up the moon so it was more protected. However, the moon's becoming heavier and is about to crash into the planet below. So our Lancers have headed off to fight their way through the pirates to deactivate this device. At the current moment, they were ambushed on the space elevator down to the surface of the moon, uh, facing off against a few flying mechs and one with some chainsaw arms that jumped off and was acting really cool before it got flattened by a ship. <laughs> <laughs> Almost immediately, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hashtag optimal play. <laughs> Speedrun strats. So, with that leader and that ship down, uh, there is one more flying mech left that looks pretty rough, and two that haven't been hit yet, or actually one that has been damaged, and they look pretty fragile. So, we're going to hop to the top of this round of combat. Uh, anyone among the players, you may choose who wants to go first. Duke. Okay. <laughs> so yep. Duke will, I guess, fly six and try and probably stab the... Uh... Actually, wait. Uh, how far away are these guys? 18, 14... Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Duke's gonna go ahead and boost off the uh, back to the ruler. Yeah, select there. You go. Uh, Duke's gonna boost. Come on, here we go. This far, and then yeah, he's gonna use his uh spear and attack the um, Mr. Sonic. <laughs> okay, Mr. Sonic, <laughs> let's go. Uh, Warpike. Uh, select a Sonic, no accuracy. Roll. Dang. Okay, I missed. Uh, yeah, over the STFU, you'll hear, I'm just too fast. <laughs> You're just real annoying. <laughs> does, you know what's really annoying is it does seem to be these two characters who <laughs> keep getting stupid low rolls. <laughs> <laughs> you you um, know why that is, right, Wiki? One of them is God's one, one of them is God's speed, the other one is strikeout. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, the other two speedsters. Yeah. <laughs> so you two are basically flying around this ring in battle back and forth between each other. Yeah. And um, yeah, he's gonna go ahead and zoom over there with my skirmisher slash other skirmisher trait. Yeah, okay. It's like this skirmisher and like he said, I'm gonna do some like stuff. This skirmisher, yeah. <laughs> zoom zoom. Um uh he is, you know what? I'm gonna remember how to play this game, and he is gonna use one of his reactions. <laughs> and he's gonna use his reaction of rapid response. Reactions. Totally it doesn't know. provoke reactions. Uh, the trigger is an enemy character in line of sight moves. Uh this movement does not trigger or provoke reactions lockbreaker oh that includes okay well yeah. he's not going to do that then <laughs> dang it ramon i thought i understood the game all right <laughs> nice try <laughs> i'm learning you got it <laughs> okay uh that was duke Ooh, i forgot to activate there uh, i'll deactivate and I guess I'll just have our ace supersonic pilot go. Uh, he is, again, going to, I guess, just keep moving. Overwatch. Go for it. Uh, yes. Uh, OK, so four pike, go. Targeting the same dude. Let's not roll crap. Yay, we hit. Well, Yay. because I understand the game and your <laughs> melee attack hit, he is going to use his reaction to use the four. And do a barrel roll. Oh, a barrel roll. <laughs> no! <laughs> Dang it. 
You say yeah. no. I specifically remember you using this against us, Ravon. I did. I made it way it. worse, too. I remember it was really good. <laughs> Anywho, I think you had like an elite ace or something, and it was really annoying. Anywho, he's going to move. He's going to move six spaces. It was, an, it was like an ultra ace veteran with acrobatics, and it was flying in a tunnel. So jokes, I could just... Anyway, uh, it was don't do really that to your friends. <laughs> yeah, don't do that to your friends. Um, so so gonna, that's yep. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna. Oh yes, you also you. have a reaction. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna follow you with my. Uh, these guys are just so fast; they can move outside of their own turns. So you are able to keep up with him on his movement. Uh, so he's gonna take a boost and then attack. Yeah, with um, skirmisher and with um, uh, what's it called? Yeah, lockbreaker. So yeah, we're just kind of. Chasing each other. Chasing each other, zooming around the battlefield like that. And, well, because of that rivalry, he's going to shoot at you specifically. Stop. Uh... <laughs> Oof. Okay. Fine. Fine. Fine, Calvin. Fine. And let me make sure I check his barrel. <laughs> when you get this guy, it's going to be really satisfying. I can't. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> but that is his turn. Um, who would like to go next? I've already gone. I'm happy to. Uh, this is a new round, so everybody should be able to. I'm happy. Ooh. All right. Get him. Uh, <laughs> Empress. I'm going to miss. Just, you know, knowing what's going on. Um, Just move there. Oh, boy. I can't reach it. Physically. I do still have the Annihilator. You certainly do, and you are in the danger zone if that applies to... So I'm going to fire it. All right. So roll uh, target this. I assume you're targeting the ace. Yep. Pretty sure I got my target on him. Supersonic. Uh, no, wait, it's on my, it's on the Hornet. I don't want it to be on the Hornet. Um, hold up. Double right mouse click on the new one. There you go. So I'll try it on him, and then we can just go into the attack. We're fine. We, we learned this out. We figured it out. Yep. Probably a mess, but it'll be funny. Yep. Okay, so you take your shot, and it does unfortunately miss. But. Oops. Fine. As he sort of passes by your range, you take a quick pot shot at him and he's able to sort of like weave out of the way. Um, is there anything else you want to do? After you moved, you attacked, you can do a lock on again or anything, any other quick action you might want to try? Lock on him again. All right. Might be necessary. Seems to be. Am I no longer um, impaired? Uh, yeah, no. At the end of your turn, you're no longer impaired. Awesome. Cool, cool, thank you. Okay. And let me know if your heat ever gets to your heat cap, because then we have to roll. I, I don't know if it'll automatically pop up, but we'll see. I mean, currently I'm only at seven. Okay. I know where I am. All right. So as the supersonic mech rolls by, you take a shot at it. It just barely misses, but you are heating yourself up further. Uh, preparing for something, I'm sure, dangerous. I don't know what I'm preparing for, man. I'm right now just annoyed and everything's off the platform. <laughs> That's what these flying guys are about. Um, speaking of, this hornet, uh, Idris Elba hornet, <laughs> <laughs> which is this one, <laughs> um, it doesn't have its impale system, so it's just going to take a regular shot. Um, I think he will try to move to get into a better position. Um, with his speed, he can move that many. And so he'll go over here. And take a shot with a pistol. Lining up for this incredible, amazing shot with so much damage. One damage. And impairment. That's the most annoying thing about that. Yes. Cool. 
And that's all he's got. Uh, actually, he is going to boost and get a smidge further away. Coward. <laughs> well, I'm not going to stand there, am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not the checker now. What happened? <laughs> oh, is that? It's not what I was aiming for. <laughs> but that is his third. Uh, so, any of the players, Hellion, Longhorn, or Free Shooter? Well, I can't do anything anyway, so I will go. Free Shooter, you should, you should use your protocols and nonsense. Yeah, but it, I, I can't actually like do anything with it. How many of them can I use? Uh, uh so wait are you jammed oh i think yes. you're jammed oh yeah no you can't do anything <laughs> can you stabilize when jammed let me check. yeah you could you could stabilize and remove jammed um yeah but it's just gonna go away at the end of my turn anyway that's true uh so, do you have any heat to get rid of i mean i guess i could Uh, I guess I'll do that. I don't know. So when you stabilize, there's in the repair and recovery section of the notes, it has stabilize at the top. Um, under the combat reference. So you can either cool yourself or you can restore some HP as well as doing some additional effects. Um, I, I'll just cool myself. Okay. You don't necessarily have to. It's just like a, a thing you can do on this turn or just buzz through your turns. So you're no longer jammed, whichever works for you. I mean, that's, that's, I think that's literally all I can do. Mm -hmm. So I might as well do it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and do I just clear one, or what do I do? Uh, you should something? be able to clear all of your heat. Okay. Clear all your heat, yes. Okay. That's it. <laughs> so That's you clear that. off the heat from your mech, sort of venting out through like these, you know, the heat vents in your mech, uh, heating up the platform even more. As you stabilize yourself, uh, I forgot to activate you, but there you go. Yep. And right, then, so, yep. So I think that that gets rid of both my. Um, it should get rid of the jammed and the impaired at the end of your. Because it's the end of my turn. Yes. So, <laughs> so you are now freed. <laughs> Um, and <laughs> the last guy that I have, uh, the, what's Tails' voice? I don't even know. Um, but this one doesn't have its impale systems either. Uh, so it is going to, I guess, take a shot. Who doesn't want to take a shot at, I guess it'll try to take a shot at Empress, because that's who he was fighting before. Left you, man. Oh wow, I thought he was gone. I guess I didn't even see him at the end of the board <laughs> there. He is terrified, but trying to pretend he is not. But he will move <laughs> up. He will make that roll. He will target. He will oof. I don't know why these guys are rolling so well when they can't <laughs> roll any more damage, but it is one damage and impairment. Um, it's all I don't take any of it because I yeah. So you don't take any damage, but you would still be impaired. I would really appreciate it if they would like stop doing that, mate. Just blow them up. Just blow well, them that's up. hard to do when they keep impairing me. We can't because Calvin's got the system rig. I I I'm pretty sure he's a he's a filthy cheater. So <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you've got Longhorn here. He <laughs> is the. <laughs> I am the cleanup king. <laughs> um, so that's all the NPCs that are left. So Hellion or Longhorn. There are um, some. Uh, do you want to go, Brian? Uh, no, you go because all, all right. of is reload. I don't want to give up an action. All right, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move to there. That's my full movement. 
Uh, your hornet just moved into my grapple range, so I'm going uh -oh. to attempt. You yep. fool. <laughs> fool. You fool. You've triggered my trap. Is your, <laughs> is your measurement yeah, thing the, stuck too? Yep. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, I, I mean, I got rid of that by like switching literal scenes. Um, I don't know if I can do that for you or if you switch tool, does it change anything? Nope. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I am going to try to switch you to a different scene and see if that gets rid of it. Because that's what I had to do. So if I okay. pull you here. And put me back. And then I pull you over here. That 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 got rid of it. Okay. I, that is a glitch I have to look up later because that's yep. very new. All right. So I'm going to roll to hit with the grapple. Okay. Can't hit with the grapple. I'm telling you, it's these freaking characters. You can't hit them. No, I swear to can't. God, Calvin's done something to them. <laughs> I <laughs> wish. If, if I could, I wouldn't have done it to overdrive. <laughs> um, I can, I can boost to move again. Okay. Which I will do. Uh, apparently, that now I have everyone self with again. Boost to move again. I'm going to overcharge. So let's. Damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm out of focus. Oof. Destabilize power plant. So you have overheated yourself, causing mm -hmm. an effect. That effect being destabilizing your power plant. Yep. So you are exposed. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to swing with the uh, swing with the carbon sword. Don't overheat yourself. That's my job. <laughs> you you can't. Yeah, I fire. This is reliable three, so I do three yes. points of damage. Yes, you do. Hooray! <laughs> what the hell? There what? you go. Their HP is really low. I promise. Nobody Just can hit them. them. That was a three, that Calvin. <laughs> what is Throw going on here? Home. That's a two on the die. Yeah. Yes. So Hellion moves in, getting up to the edge of the donut and landing, well, not landing, but swinging an attack at this hornet and is sort of able to pierce some of the armor despite not landing a solid blow. Uh, so that was Hellion. Hellion? You're not supposed to be on fire. <laughs> well, if you guys would have taken care of this before I had to be on fire, this wouldn't be a problem. Well, I was <laughs> trying my best. Wow. I've always been fucking with my system. <laughs> they, no, really, they kept hacking us. It's annoying. And apparently being on fire isn't working for me. I'm not fond of it. Ah. So with that going on on the STFU, uh, Longhorn, the cleanup crew, the one-man cleanup crew, well, you are the last like, to go. Oh, they're attacking each other. The one-man band. <laughs> oh, come on, get in here and steal another one. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, which one of these birdies is limping? Um, the worst-looking one, yeah, all three of them have some damage. The worst-looking one is the one at the top. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the coolest looking one for no reason. <laughs> okay, it also has a lock on that you can consume for oh, an yeah, extra. I'll, do that. I'll consume a lock on, okay. and I will also uh, full barrage. You uh... actually, I can't do anything. I'm reloading this turn. Okay. So um, you you walk forward. There's a whir and a click as you reload your rifle or yeah. whatever weapons you have. Better not be around when I got this thing loaded. Yep, that's all I can do actually this turn. So I reload for free just by ending my turn. Okay, a turn of recovery, it would seem. Oh, wow. Sorry, a notification popped up right when I clicked. To... Of course it did. Uh oh. Okay, all no, right. that was, that's fine. All right, next round. Um, lot, some of these guys, I will say, they might look like they're considering exit plans. I want to kill this hornet in front of me. All of them. All of them. I, I would like to kill all of them. <laughs> all right, Hellion, you are up first. Um, all right, let's let's go ahead and attempt a grapple because then at least I can get a uh, if I hit, which I don't. Jesus, <laughs> I, 
I could get a thing. We are just going to go ahead and swing the harbor, the, the carbon sword again. Reliable three. Okay. Looks very bad. Looks very reliable. Oh. And let's see, I have one more quick action left, right? Um, well, you one more. grappled I've... and then attacked. Okay. So yep. you have one, if you overcharge, you would have one. Okay, so no, I am, I'm, I'm done overcharging because I'm already flaming. <laughs> Nobody can stop you, you can do it again. Yeah. <laughs> your, your power plant is already exposed, yeah. so your heat should have rolled back. It's a two out of four, yeah. Hashtag do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, got, it's up to you. I got the repairs, sure. Yeah, let's go. What's a one shot like, if you want? Reactor to damage, and it's like roll damage, and I'm like, no, that's not my job. Oh, well, the power plant's exposed again. Okay, it's, it's perfect. More exposed. <laughs> I mean, once you once you run out of uh, stress, then you'll have a problem. But for now, I mean. I mean, I do better on fire. Why can't you? Apparently, <laughs> exactly. words never better spoken. I can't use the same weapon again, though, right? You can. Oh, I can. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. Another three damage. <laughs> All right. Uh, since this has been so much trouble, describe your final blow against this hornet. Uh, so apparently, this is not actually landing a blow. This nanocarbon sword is so big because it has reach two. That literally, I am I'm buffeting the air as I make swinging <laughs> passes at it, and it just destabilizes the hornet enough that it crashes into the platform. <laughs> <laughs> and as it's, it's trying to avoid your swatting, <laughs> yep. and then just bonk into the platform and begins to plummet to the moon below, with like a, I don't know, whoa, 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 as it falls. <laughs> Sounds like the noid. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah, I think that was more crash than tails. But... Yeah, that was more crash. <laughs> All right, there's one hornet, one ace left. Oh. Um, and Hellion, you can end your turn, and I'll figure out who's going next. Yep. Yeah. I want to go next for us. I want to do something. I have something weird I want to try. I think the ace is going to go because he's going to uh. fire a missile. So I'm going to activate him. He is a smart thing to do would be to move. So, oh, but how far does that go? That does that. Okay, so he's going to move this way. I think he can get this far. No, he can get this far. And he's going to fire a missile. Who does he want to hit? You will have cover and are out of range. You're too far away, so... Empress and Longhorn, or Hellion and Longhorn? Uh... I haven't done much. I've just lit myself on fire. All Hellion... I've ever done is reload. <laughs> Hellion <laughs> killed his twin. So, oh That's no, Hellion it. didn't kill his twin, but did kill the leader and the ace. So, ace isn't dead yet. The ace is going. Oh my gosh, killed the hornet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's <laughs> I always get those guys mixed up. Every flying thing looks the same to me. <laughs> God, you really did become Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you're lucky you got in the right mech this morning then. Hell just dies and Sonic's like, oh, uh, totally remembered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you two. <laughs> Uh, miss on Hellion, but a hit on Longhorn for four explosive damage. And just gonna keep on trucking, I guess. Stop. Uh, <laughs> seems so like far. they're make, he's making plans to get the hell out of here. What about Mickadies? And that's the ace, so whomsoever has an activation can decide on money to activate. Um, hold up, I need to measure something. I would like to attempt to hit something. I believe in you. Yeah, I, I, I believe in I believe in Fisher as well. Okay, thanks guys. That, that I'm definitely <laughs> going to miss now. <laughs> oh no, I don't believe. 
There's okay. always 5% in a dream. You Never have I believed in you. First of all, I want to mark Idris Elba for death. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can mark the Idris Hornet. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do I have to click something here? Um, it's double right mouse button. So when you mark something for death for me, I guess just look at your sheet. Do I click just the protocol button or? Yeah, you can click the button. It'll pop it into chat as well. Do the thing. Um, I don't know if Go there's away, a basic attack. I don't know if there's a mark for death like marker. It's asking me to consume my mech power core. Yes. Yeah. So um, your core power, like it'll consume, like everything oh, has okay, a. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a battery for your core power. Okay, I was yes. like, uh, what? <laughs> um, can I also use uh, my steady aim talent? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Okay. Okay, we'll put that right there. Yeah, because you can do you, you do your protocols at the start of the turn as free action. So yes. Okay. Now I have to get more heat on myself because he moved just out of my range. But that was the only way I could mark him for death. So okay, let's see what happens. You could also do core siphon to get an extra accuracy if you just I don't know. I, I want you to hit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, All so you right. can, yeah, if you activate your core siphon, you get a plus one difficult, plus one accuracy rather on the first attack roll, but a plus one difficulty on all other attack rolls until the end of the turn. The only okay. one shot. Where is that? <laughs> one shot, one dream. Uh, core siphon is under your uh, mech loadout. Yes, yourself. So you should have at this point an accuracy oh, from. Oh, I found it. I found it. So okay. you've got an accuracy from your steady weapon. You've got an accuracy from core siphon. You've got an accuracy from your um, your perfect targeting. Um, are you using your vulture rifle? Yes. So you got an accuracy from that as well. And on a crit, you do. Oh no! You just you just do normal. You just do extra damage on a hit. All right. So because of mark for death, I should be at. Is that plus four or plus three? That is four accuracy. If I have done the braining on that correctly. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> stack, 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 stack. I really want to hit this guy. Four. Okay. I have uh, the utmost faith in your ability to hit this guy. Stop saying that. <laughs> 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 Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> okay, so you do why deal am... bonus damage. Why am I overheating? Because you I took heat no... from you took heat. Right, but I didn't have any. Um, did it, it may not have cleared from your mech on the sheet. Did you clear it when you stabilized? I thought so. I'm just going to cancel before. That. I did. Okay. So you if you since you so it should be at just one heat then. Yeah, that's what it's at. I don't know why it's being rude. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um I do have brutal. Okay. Because that was a crit, right? I really fear that you're gonna do take him down to one and <laughs> uh brutal is okay, that's only for Natural. If you roll a nat 20. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Take that. <laughs> okay. I also need your, um, it's the rifle is a main weapon. So I need an extra 2d6 damage. Right. Oh, okay. Oh. And that is our backslash? Uh, regular slash, forward slash. Forward slash R space 2d6. Yes. No parentheses. It, oh, slash, right. slash R. Oh, slash, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, I did it! There it goes. Ooh, nice. Ten. Nice. 16 total damage. 
Uh, if that ain't dead, I'm gonna be upset. Describe your final blow <laughs> on this hornet that has, um, I guess, at this point, negative ten health. <laughs> I just, I just pop up again and go. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, like, bye. It just watched me that whole time I was jammed, like pulling out my tripod and <laughs> setting it up. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Don't and do that. My, <laughs> and my mech is just like. <laughs> <laughs> you fire off this shot, it tears through the hornet, and it just tumbles to the surface below. Oh. And... and I just. Uh, SDFU, let's see the, uh, the <laughs> annoying um, flying guy, like, you're next. <laughs> I'm in danger! <laughs> Tails, Tails, I missed my one, too. <laughs> um, he already used his activation this turn, so it's just the players at this point. Get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Longhorn Empress and Duke. Uh yeah. Um, awesome. You wanna go Duke? Or I yeah. can pop off from here. Oh, I didn't mean to move. Uh, if you could do it from there, yeah. Let's just see if he survives after you know you put him full of holes. Yeah, I'll I'll unload on him. Um let's go. Okay. Um I think I need free shooter to end your turn before I can activate Longhorn. Oh, sorry. No sorry I did that already. I've forgotten it like a thousand times already, so don't even worry about it. All right. Longhorn, you're up if you think you can handle this guy. I have at least four reliable damage. That might do it. <laughs> One roll. And then two roll. I'm gonna say you don't have to roll <laughs> the second one because once again you've chosen to shoot something that had one HP left. Oh man! Oh, my God. <laughs> see, see, this is why his tally board is higher than everybody. Uh, well, what the heck? Describe your final blow against this ace. As it's just like sputtering off, I just shoot it. Just shoot it in the dinkiest little leg, and it just careens down the elevator. It doesn't explode. It just falls straight down. It's not going anywhere. As if its motion stops completely. Yeah. And then... Air breaks. <laughs> this is the end for me! <laughs> no, his voice was more nasally than that. But he will plummet to the ground. And it seems you all have secured the rest of your trip down to the surface. Good. <laughs> Yay! Wait, we still, we still have to save the planet. <laughs> no. Okay. As yep. We're gonna put Heli on out. Let's do that first. <laughs> just... Oh yeah. Fires my <sighs> first. Stop burning. You can do any stabilization or anything you need to. Um, as the platform is coming down to the ground. So stabilize will clear the, the heat. Can I clear my stress or do I need to use a repair kit for that? Um, I, let me double check it. Yeah. If clear you want... a condition. Oh, no. Yeah. You would need a repair kit to get your stress back up. Yeah. Okay. And you that need would to add. actually do a repair, uh, which will take some time. Okay. So we probably don't have time for that. So I'm assuming the elevator is going faster than the amount of time it would take to do a full repair. Yeah, or... uh, like a stopping to do a repair. Uh, there's like a repair and there's a full repair, uh, which is one hour and then 10 hours. Okay. So, uh, but within some minutes, um, the elevator is able to get, well, not even minutes, like a few seconds, because it's a space elevator thing. <laughs> it is able to get to the ground. Uh, as it touches down, you can see you are on the surface of this moon, which has uh, surprisingly pretty decent gravity. Uh, you get the sense that as the surface of this lunar object has been sort of hardening, uh, being made a bit denser, uh, the gravity might be changing and shifting, uh, perhaps causing some issues below. Um, 
evidence of which might also include the fact that you are now getting a call. Someone's someone's hailing us. Yes, seems uh, to be coming from Agent Atro. And it, it's not on the STFU frequency. No, it's on an actual official frequency. Official I? frequency. Uh, no, <laughs> I I got this. Thank you. Uh, hit the button. So what? You you just happen to know when we're done with combat and can call us right afterwards. You don't call us in the middle to annoy us. I, I, I mean, you know, I'm not ungrateful that that's not the case, but it just seems like you call exactly when everything is just clear and quiet. Well, I've been told I have great timing. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> So, um, yeah, so she, I guess she's talking to Hellion right now, but you can all probably hear it. Uh, she will say, I've just spoken with the scientists from the station. They say that time is of the essence here. Uh, there are some crises currently ongoing on the surface on the planet below. We're able to take care of them currently, but I just wanted to call and let you know that, uh, well, for one, we're all counting on you. And for two, we've got the ship lined up in the decent position to try and provide some assistance if we're able to. So... Wait, you did you just tell us to hurry up when we were on an elevator that we could not control the speed of? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And and you, well, also told us everything that, you also told us everything in a phone call that could have been sent in an email. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I thought this would be more personal. I don't like personal right now. Personally, I want to kill every pirate that attacked us, but... I didn't get a kill this fight, so. I can't say that. Not all pirates are like this. So <laughs> she'll reply, uh, would you prefer the email then? Yeah. No. Now that you've already called, it's it's pointless. <laughs> Can the scientists tell us a direction to go now that we're down here on this lunar surface rather than, you know, hunting wildly since, you know, as you said, time is of the essence. Oh, yes, just one moment. Um, and then you all see sort of on your HUDs, uh, the, it sort of shows you like an objective location. Great. We'll be moving out shortly. Okay, uh, just before you go, uh, they mentioned that there are some exposed conduits that you need to destroy once you get there. Uh, although we are picking up uh, some pirates within the area. Uh, the ship is able to launch an attack down there. Um, it will be a blast of some decent uh, danger if you need some assistance. Um, why are we planning on attacking this planetoid? Isn't that what started this whole debacle? Well, we're not going to blow up the entire planetoid, but we can launch a missile blast from here if you need it. Just half? Just half. No, no, no. No, see, that's what I'm getting at. Attacking this thing is what caused it to start putting armor on itself. Well, it is the fastest way to stop it. I mean, unless some of you know any way to hack a machine of this size and caliber. Which if you do, I'm not going to argue. You've got it. You have on board your ship currently the quote brightest minds outside of Terra 3, unquote. <laughs> it is what they call themselves. I know. That's why it was quoted. <laughs> if they can't put together a program that we can insert into this thing so that they can talk to it. I don't know what good they're for. I don't think it's worth negotiating. Scientists, man. Blow the shit up. <laughs> what about science? You do hear some uh, what sounds like angered responses from the scientists in the background of this call. And Agent H.O. says, well, I'll, uh, I'll talk to them and see what we can do. You do that. <laughs> if you think it's a better option then if you're able to hold out the space perhaps we can send some sort of signal down I think it might be easier to blow things up at this point man <sighs> blowing things up at this point is going to be a last resort because I don't want to deal with anything else on this planetoid erupting mm. out to get us <sighs> yes but I would love to blow something up well it sounds like there's some more pirates down down the way so you'll get the chance uh, yes, the pirates. Well, I'll leave them in your capable hands. Oh, you're still here? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <Click>. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Not anymore. Uh, so, uh, for, uh, on the character sheet, yep. for uh, health, heat, stress, structure, should it say zero O? Yes. And we count yes. up, or should it say? Um, it depends on the thing. Let me see. Heat with zero because it counts up for us. Um, when we do okay. things like heat, but like structure and stress would be countdown. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, damage and so, heat count up. Structure and stress count down. Um, once your damage or heat reaches their maximum amounts, then you lose a structure or a stress. Uh, uh, no, eight uh damage like uh hit points counts count down. Or hold oh, on. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So it should be nine of nine. Yeah. Stress should be four of four. Yep. Structure should be four of four. Yep. Or zero. Four of four. It okay. should be four of four. Heat, heat, heat does go up, right? Yeah, but heat goes up. Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> Free shooter is not completely destroyed beyond repair. Yeah. <laughs> I had Holly Brain on still. So. Or like, Agent Atro <laughs> uh, It seems she believed that uh, detonating these things was the best course of action, but now that you've made this suggestion, they're going to work on it. Yeah, but I don't Fucking scientists, that. man. They <laughs> like to break stuff, but they don't like to fix it. <laughs> it seems that they hadn't considered uh, just saving it instead of destroying it. Yeah, but like, we're going to have time. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Hellion is making her mech go forward and just, just she's got her she's like autopilot hands hands in head hands, hands just like no god no initiate facepalm protocol yeah <laughs> that's a wall bonk that's a wall bonk yes uh, they're facepalm piloting I'm facepalm piloting yes I know Okay. Uh, so, might I recommend killing some pirates? Sounds like a good way to get rid of this facepalm piloting. You know, I, <laughs> guys, let's go kill some pirates. So, Atro uh, will send that email. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is full of smiley faces and winks, but it oh, will God. mention uh, that. Um, I'll say for the purposes of this, if you're able to take out the or you, if you're able to like hold out the area for a certain amount of time then the scientists should be able to send like a signal down to the planet surface otherwise you can destroy some of the exposed conduits to try and shut down this device okay i like that uh, she sent that information in a passive aggressive email mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> it, it might come off that way but although she's just been acting like aggressively nice like new person, I don't want to make a bad impression kind of nice. Yeah. I'm all over here like we're this close to just killing everything in the vicinity, including ourselves. <laughs> Slow ourselves up. <laughs> uh, but I'll say for the purposes of this, and uh, I don't know if we'll be able to finish this, so I guess this will be a series, but you do <laughs> you do find yourselves uh, sort of trekking across the surface of the lunar surface of this moon. Um, getting close to the objective location that had been indicated outwards towards you. Uh, you do see some leftover remains of sort of the study of this thing. Uh, what looks like maybe some excavation or something. Uh, you, it's hard to tell whether this happened within like recently or like if it was the planet or if it was the computer taking over the terraformer that did this or if it was some other structural collapse. But it seems like there's some sort of hole ahead of you within the ground. Uh, you can see rising from it, uh, the first thing you would notice is four different electrical, uh, they almost look like big braziers, and you can see electrical energy sparking off of them. Um, you can see around it uh, some vehicles parked and left nearby. You can see in the center of it what looks like a sparking hologram that's trying to communicate something. And standing in front of that hologram, you see a rather large mech carrying a big old hammer who is being accompanied by a couple of other smaller mechs. <laughs> I don't know why I was searching for a different word. Can I like, go surprise around? Can I just like fire something at him? Um, are you trying to be 
stealthy? I don't know how stealth works in a mech with other than being invisible. I'm not sure. They're busy, like, watching something they might not notice until you have a... Well, uh, the one guy is, the others... Well, let me just switch you over there, then we can yeah. see what's the situation here. As I pop like, you. Walk oh. in and just kind of... That's a big hammer. The annihilator at him. That's a big dude. <laughs> So when you get here, you do see the one larger one seems to be sort of facing this large hologram, which seems like it's like a, it's a, you think it may be a person or at least a humanoid figure trying to communicate something. Um, you do see one guy who's sort of closer to the front of the hole, looks like he might be keeping watch. And there is something off into the distance that looks like it might be some sort of long range uh, weaponry. He's like ten away. I could just like shoot the annihilator at his head as we walk in. So, pull, pull the big I, guy down into the corner so that people at home can see the the giant oh. hammer mech that you've got there. Okay, uh, oh, is this um, to the left under the leftmost oh, electrical see. arcer? <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. The there we go. The, yeah. So there we go. Um, that way people can see it. And I it have infiltrator, so I imagine I must be stealthy. Um, yeah, I would definitely say you could probably use some sort of stealth here. If you have like if you have something, an ability for it, or if you have a skill you want to apply, then definitely yes. Um, oh, I, big iron on my hip. Can they just hit me? <laughs> um, well, I, shoot something. I have infiltrator uh, which is growl, which allows me to do a lot of things on my turn. Like, I can pass through line of sight and still be considered hidden. So it's more like hidden in terms of hidden from, like, sensors. Like, you're not, like, invisible. So, like, a mech would have difficulty hitting you, but, like, you can physically be seen. Cameras can see you. Yeah, no, my logic is literally just I'm trying to go gun home. Um... Oh, look, a thing to fire at. Boom. <laughs> there isn't really a stealth thing like this, but I'll say for the purposes of this, um, if you have a maybe a skill or a pilot uh, talent that you want to use, or sorry, a pilot skill that you want to use, that would be on your pilot character sheet, uh, you can attempt to do so. Uh, all allowed, because you seem to <laughs> want to try to be stealthy here. I'm not trying to be stealthy. I'm just literally like, you know, maybe if you just fire too fast for them to process, but uh, I don't or really surprisingly, have. I guess. I don't really have anything that works with it, so it's fine. Okay, so it seems like that's what Free Shooter and Empress are doing. What is everyone else doing? Just just walking forward, probably sword slung over the shoulder and just yeah, Duke basically Duke's... moving moving into combat range. Yeah, Duke's just going to beeline for the big guy. <laughs> I would like to steady my aim. Shisha. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use their um, usual save DCs for this, uh, which are higher than six. Can I roll shit again? Yeah, you rolled a two. <laughs> cool. Nice mm. to see that's followed <laughs> over. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this is happening. Um, up to a three. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> However, um, the other the mechs present there do turn to nose you. Is uh, is Empress also going to try to be stealthy here? I don't even know. Um, what do I roll for that man? Um, if you go to uh, under the Empress folder and the actual person, like yeah. her actual sheet, um, if you go there and you see the pilot narrative tab, yeah. Um, if you see anything there you think would be helpful for being stealthy. No. You can just roll uh, a d20, and yeah. if the number is high enough, Calvin has to sure. think about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just <laughs> you can just make a regular check then. If you just roll a d20 plus your, I guess it would be plus your grit as well. No, no, no pluses, just a straight twenty roll. Oh, because honestly, that's just yeah. good life advice. Just roll a d20, see what happens. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I will give it some thought. Uh, so I guess just. 15? Oh, that sounds high enough. <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, so what <laughs> what exactly are you trying to accomplish uh, in this moment? Nothing at all. Just so I can figure out what effect to give you. Literally, I am trying to walk in fast enough with enough confidence. It's not really hiding, kind of. Just I want to get in there to fire before they're ready to dodge. <laughs> I'll say for the purposes of this, you can... Uh, I mean, like, I don't know if you'd be able to fire without completely unbalancing the combat. Also, you know what? Let's just say you can get a, a quick action before the combat starts. Quick is the action. Though. No, I could use that, like, I guess, walk on to help me. Yeah, you can You can just apply a quick old yeah. or, or on. Calvin, you could, you could just have, you can just uh, have um, Empress choose one of the characters on the field to go last. It's like oh. they just have to go last. Sure. Because they're like, they're like, oh, I had ducked out of the way and it takes some time for them to recover. That's, that's I will take your GM advice and narratively, Empress, as you arrive, you take sort of a, it's sort of a long distance effect with a flaming weapon. Uh, but one of them looks pretty, uh, pretty unnerved about it. Yeah, just, just lob the annihilator in there. Just like, boom. Just scare them. Why are we all grouped? <laughs> yeah, I want to be away from the stealthy people. Friendship? Okay. I don't. It's... Okay. Friendship. No, That's I why we're. Freedom. I'm trying to seduce them with my space western wilds. Freedom. Well, you could come over here and stand by me because I wasn't stealthy at all. Oh, Duke, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come over here next to Duke. Okay, so yeah, you can position yourselves and then ready yourself for combat, and we'll see if we're able to get through this. If not, then uh, there will be a point, I guess, when we make this a series, and I'll have more time to do things and not have to try to <laughs> speed through things. I'm glad Agent Atro turned out to be so squirrely, because it's kind of perfect for this. Uh, but let's just, everybody right-click on themselves, click on the sword and shield symbol. Oh, yeah. I did it already. Yeah, here, man. Put me in, coach. <laughs> uh, who am I missing? I'm missing Duke. Sorry, I'm here. Got Come it. on, Duke. My bad. <laughs> okay, so first off, uh, Empress, you want to pick who has to... Cameraman. Okay. Cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> so for the first round, uh, Demolisher. Also being distracted by dealing with this hologram. Uh, we'll have to take his two actions last. But you can see um, it looks like a very intense version of maybe things you might have seen before. Um, perhaps a step beyond Elite. Ooh. But it's the first round of combat. So that means Duke's got to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> we got to do the Duke and switch. The Duke, yeah, Duke and switch. switch. Oh, I'm stuck in everybody. Whoops. I'll be the switch. Do that. <laughs> let's let's not do that. Okay, just do the select, thing. I'll be the switch. Select one person, please. Why are you selecting uh, everybody? Switch. <laughs> Bryce switching to the measurement tool and then going back. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do that and then. Okay, that guy is selected. I don't know why Foundry is being so uppity tonight. Yeah. Foundry's <laughs> having problems. Okay, so Duke's gonna move and boost. Oh, so he's gonna boost over here. And then he's going to skirmish with his spear. But because he did that, I can use my skirmisher trait to move two and then like an extra one because of Nelson. And then I'm going to stab him with the spear okay. and I'm flying. So, okay. okay. Uh, attack mode, go. Form of spear. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Excellent. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Mm, mm, nice. Mm. So you fly in, trying to strike with your war pike, and it just strikes the armor again, making this loud ring. And you hear over the STFU, now what's all this? I thought overdrive was supposed to take care of y'all. Well, that guy's dead, man. <laughs> <laughs> the first one we killed, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Flat as a pancake. <laughs> He tried to catch a cab and got run over. I'm going to get to okay. Oh, I guess ready the hammer and say, you'll pay for that. 
No. All right. Uh, I'm going to move uh, the rest of Duke's movement and move like uh, here and maybe go up another three, like over here and then two here and then one there. Perfect. <laughs> Just <laughs> stab him and fly around. Yeah. That's it's my... just like <laughs> you're the Duke dance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, <laughs> I'm faster <laughs> than you. Ha <laughs> ha. Was that? Was it the hammer dance where you moved from side to side? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Duke. Okay, let me end my turn. Um, and yeah, since Perfect. this guy is going last, I'm going to activate. Bombardment. Activate the pew pew. So this guy to the north here, you are definitely in range of him because he has incredibly long range. He is going to... Um, he doesn't want to do that because that's expensive. He, he wants will, to though. He wants to miss. He wants to do the explosive. <laughs> nope. <laughs> He Let's doesn't like blow himself up. Wow, Calvin, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, because it's the main thing is supposed to be nice. Um, heal. Okay, how should I do this one? What do you mean he doesn't want to die? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he is going to first off fire his cannon. No way. Yes. He's going to pop it there. Oh, come on. Yes. That's, uh, not, that's not fair. And he will roll to hit for five oh. explosive damage. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> and then he will activate the Earth Shaker shells. What the what? Shaking the Earth. Because I'm feeling real mean today. Because you crushed Overdrive. <laughs> you crushed Overdrive. <laughs> 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 I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Dang it, you got me there. Um, he will also fire a burst three. Let's see where I can position this that I won't. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, you'll is probably it, have to move it. So I was going to say, it has to be in the same square that you fired it into. Yeah. Because it's uh, in addition to any damage characters within burst three of the targeted space. So the initial space. Oh, the targeted was... space. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... You are correct. And so that was like. Burst two, right? Yeah. 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 I, it's the right space. You, you're only going to hit me anyway. So it would have been around here. Okay. And it's going to create a burst, creating. Okay. And you must succeed a hull save or be knocked prone. Um, sure, I'll try with my zero hull. Let's go. Okay, Man. you're trying to beat 11. I did not. Wow, so ah. Duke is knocked prone. I'm in danger. Okay, <laughs> in real danger. <laughs> and it will also create two segments of hard cover. Oh, Duke, the classic. Pulling yeah. it out. Perfect. And exactly. free spaces within the affected area. Well, which one's, which one's prone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, if you if you search, it'll show it. Um, it's gonna create some hard cover. Uh, it's gonna drop it. Can it drop it in front of you? That doesn't really make sense to me if it's knocking you prone. I mean you can because it launches up and rules down. wise I can, but narratively that doesn't really make sense to me. Really? Because but I'll do how, it. I don't know. You hit me with a giant meat shell while I'm flying. But all right. <laughs> so as this shell lands, it creates this massive explosion, tearing up some of the ground, causing some of it to sort of angle itself in a way that makes it a bit more difficult to deal with this guy. Okay. And that is this guy's turn. So anybody else can activate. I can. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Right there. I'm just gonna shoot the annihilator at the big guy. All right. Because I don't like. What's wrong with the big guy? 
I just saw him and went, I want to blow him up. <laughs> you understand. I do. <laughs> well, he has got a whole ship. He's got like a, he's got a face or a face that's just really explodable. And it helps me heat myself up, which is great. Targeted. Nice. Yep, I did. Nice. Okay. So that is a hit, and that will activate his ability. It is armor piercing. And it also it does almost yeah, it is also armor piercing. But uh because this hit, and I guess normally you would do this before damage is rolled, but the tabletop rolls damage automatically, so um as it hits, he will gain resistance from the attack as he digs into the ground. But becomes slowed. Uh, but he's not planning to go anywhere, really. So he's got resistance and he has armor. Only from that attack. Yes. Okay, so... So armor first and then resistance. So armor takes away boop damage. And then resistance cuts it in half. We round back up. Uh, it's AP, so there's no armor resistance. Oh, yeah. ah, curses. All right, well, there's no armor, but it is still in half because of resistance. Which puts it at a number. Okay. Well, he certainly has plenty of things to put his attention towards. As Empress flies in and then blasts him in the back as he was focusing on Duke. And I guess he'll say, No, I'll get to you in a minute. Mm, oh, oh, oh no, I think I lost his accent again. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. I don't, I don't think you won't. We'll see. All right, well, uh, Empress, you can end your turn, and then the one guy that can go will go. Uh, with his speed of. Pretty good. This guy should have been overdrive. Pretty good. Maybe he could be overdrive's brother. <laughs> what do you uh, mean overdrive's dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he owed me money. <laughs> <laughs> so he will charge. <laughs> he will charge forward. He is going to charge at Empress. He is going to use. Um, let's do something interesting. I don't know if I want the interesting thing done on me. He is going to impale you. He's going to run, run away. He's going to attempt to impale you, at least. Uh, I need Empress to make a hull save as this guy charges forward. Okay, so I just try to deal with my camera. Uh -huh. Okay, where is that hull? No. So it should be on you. Oh, but I don't like this. You're trying, to, you're trying to beat 12, and you do? I do? Yay! I do! I do! Nice. Okay, so you succeed, which means he just moves and doesn't actually impale you. Dang. That's a good thing. <laughs> very good thing. Uh, in which case, he will turn around and then just use his regular weapon. Yeah, I. you know what? Better than being impaled, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I guess it depends on what the regular weapon is. <laughs> so he turns around and he's got like this it's sort of a mix of a melee and ranged weapon as he fires his ram cannon at you. Mm. And misses. Wow, what a dodge. <laughs> So fast. <laughs> no, you won't. What they just did would really just kill my focus. Good God. And he'll say on the SCFU, um, you are fast, but you are not the fastest here. Oh my gosh. I am the fastest sort of French. <laughs> I'm taking a big swing with that one. I'm the one who just he's... fired a bomb into his back. He's sort of French. He's French Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> he's space French Canadian. 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before we lose our Quebec audience. Um, <laughs> so the big guy is cursed to go last. So any of the players who uh, don't have a, who haven't gone yet. To go. go for it. Okay, I'm going to move and boost so that I can move up there. Wow, you're so fast. <laughs> and say... <laughs> Hey there, Duke. You want to stand up, baby? <laughs> I don't know why I just turned into a Minnesotan, but that <laughs> And then I'm going to shoot the big weapon. All right. <clears throat> Come here. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, nice. So that is a hit on this I guy. hit something. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Which is five damage, which puts them there. What does overkill do? Uh, every time you roll a one for the damage, uh, it re-rolls it uh, and you take a heat. Yeah. And that's for like all the damage dice associated with it. So if you like stack a bunch of damage dice it'll all get overkill so Sorry. i can't i can't do it this time this turn but if i were within the range of my other weapon i could also fire that on the same turn you could fire it at somebody else i don't think anybody is in range unless i want to shoot you oh wait <laughs> what's your weapon <laughs> wait no five i might be in front. yeah yeah you can in, yeah you can oh. shoot that guy yeah, he he's have... behind hardcover, but yeah, you can uh, try. Yeah, give it a go. What? What the hell? So the hardcover will be too difficulty. Okay, well, way basic attack. Nobody likes you. <laughs> okay, so I add hardcover. Then... Yeah. Oh. oh, if it has a thing for hardcover, then yeah, you can. Yeah, it does. Okay. You still hit. And, and you don't even care about her cover. <laughs> wow. And it's armor piercing. Okay. Nice. Nice. I'm real. I'm still real upset about that. Uh, about that. <laughs> about the, the uh, elevator the fight. <laughs> that elevator fight got me riled up. So he gets struck. He already used his dig in, so he can't use it again this round. All right. And I don't think you activated me, so I can't uh, deactivate me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess Hellion or Longhorn, since this guy's going, he's going to spend both of his actions last. Yeah. Um, uh, can I go? Yeah, go for it, Brian. Um, yeah, protocol. I'll go ahead and steady my aim. So again, plus one accuracy, can't move after that. And then I will go ahead and a, a barrage. Now, because I'm actually looking at my talents, <laughs> <laughs> I get a plus one accuracy I'm, uh, because I'm firing with my auxiliary weapons for the first time. And that's another plus one because of the steady aim. So I'll roll two and take the higher right. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. And I also have Gunslinger die. I kill with my heart. Um, uh, each time you hit with an auxiliary range weapon, reduce the value of the Gunslinger die by 1d6. So I start at 6. Uh, and I can add 2d6 damage to whatever I hit with AP. Oh, nice. AP damage? Oof. Yeah, All right. <laughs> I bet the big tanky boy over there has some AP, yeah? <laughs> he definitely has some A that you can be, yes. <laughs> well, let's roll these APs. <laughs> We gotta roll the hit first. Yes. Uh, wait. Question: Did I have to use my talent first before? Well, no. I already did one protocol by uh, taking steady aim. Yeah. Yeah, you can use more yeah. than one protocol at the top of your turn, though. Oh, okay. Then I'll <laughs> I'll activate my thunder god to just uh, you know just put more cake on it. Okay. okay. So I'm just keeping that ticking and loading. Um, uh, it'll get two rounds at, uh, it'll get two bullets at the end of this round. 
So let's actually do the rolling part. How about that? So I'm first hand cannon. It's got accurate. Got another accurate because I'm taking uh, because I steadied my aim. Uh, steady aim only does the extra accuracy on rifle attacks. So I think Ooh, that's right. Oh, that's only so that only applied to my flex mount weapon, which I can use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good call. Um, Oh, now I got to check one thing here. I'm, I got myself excited. Okay, yeah. So we'll go ahead and fire the hand cannon. It's not letting me. Okay, there we go. So are you able to... that does that hit? Um, are you not able to like target the guy when you? Oh, did it not target it? No, no, but that does hit. Okay, unfortunate. So that was the first hand cannon. I'll go ahead and do the second one. Make sure to target him now. Okay, so that does five against this guy, and it is not AP. And you'll know if, it, if it's targeted because the little, there'll be an orange, a special orange thing appears around them. Okay, let me yeah. try this again. Yeah, just uh, double right click on, on him. Yeah, there yeah. it is. Oh, double now right click. Oh. Yep. Does that one hit? Nope. Nope. Okay. okay. So five damage went off. And then the last one here, I'll go ahead and do... I can choose either my heavy weapon mount or my flex mount, right? Correct. Uh, I'll go ahead and do my... Well, I have to reload next turn anyway. So I'll just go ahead and do my bolt thrower. So I right click, I roll. I have no bonuses because that's a heavy cannon. It's not a rifle. Silly me. That's why we got to read. It does hit. Does hit, that's though. Hit. For eight and two. So I'm Oof. still not done with my damage. Okay. Um, would those be counted differently or would they all be one? Uh, for the purposes of um, armor, they would count as one because okay. they come from one source. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. Uh, in that case, uh, you did structure this guy. <laughs> oh, wait, oh wait, nice. I, I got more damage away. <laughs> well, I can assure you he definitely has more structure. Oh, I'm... that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Um, uh, so I hit with two auxiliary range weapons. Um, uh, so I have a value of six. Sorry, I'm reading this. Okay, so okay. it's just one, the next one. So I add a plus two d6 to one of the rifle hits. So let me roll for that, friend. Okay. That, that's the AP damage. Okay. So you're just unloading on this guy. You can see that his systems take some damage. Slash R. Ooh, ew. Oh, does it, did it do both? Is that the total? Yep, that's okay. total. It's total. Okay, yep, four damage, AP. So four AP damage? And okay. I end my turn and I load my mule near two bullets. Just just smoke coming from my <laughs> <laughs> So there is just a rapid series of firing, just boom, 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 boom. all sorts of different guns. The guy's just like piece into a gat right there. He's like he's like uh, General Grievous, but with guns. <laughs> <laughs> you are a bold one. All right. Um okay. Uh, this guy is going to take his... Wait, no, Hellion didn't go. Yeah, Hellion's yep. going to... Did I not activate you? Okay. I was like, did I miss someone? Yep. Going to go ahead and move to there. Um, going okay. to grapple to the uh, Duke wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> kind of is. <laughs> Yes. Uh, that will pull me in right to there. And we will make a swing yep. with the chain axe. I will get a, an accuracy for grappling. Yes. And we will see what happens. We hit. That'll hit. Four, da four damage. Yep. Uh, this guy. Uh, 
I didn't crit, so. All right. So you are able to hook onto this guy. You pull yourself in, and you land a strike. He tries to raise his shield, but is just unable to fend off your chain axe attack. <laughs> and okay. that will end my turn. Chat okay. attack. <laughs> so this guy is going to take his couple of rounds. Um, he is slowed from when he used his reaction, and he's also impaired. Yep. Got wrecked. Got wrecked. So with slowed, his speed is halved. He can and, still move 200 feet. <laughs> which means that he can move one, one. square. <laughs> did you just move? <laughs> he did. Just one square. <laughs> Aha. That, that means I, I get in a reaction. Uh, All time. right. Okay. Uh, I will... Where the heck is there? It is. Take my spear. Ha ha. And poke at him from around what you're like. You walked right into my trap. Tasha. I oh. meant to fall on my face. <laughs> <laughs> so that does hit and that does do four damage. He just took a spear to the knee. Seems this guy, he's a lot easier to hit than the hornets, but he's pretty chunky. Uh, thick uh, boy. A uh, but he will use his last action to boost. Or he'll use a quick action to boost. Uh, he's uh -oh. still slowed because it's still this turn. So he just moves one. Uh oh. <laughs> he has one action left. <laughs> oh, no. <Yeah>. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, man. <laughs> and uh, he's going to do it. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, and we end the stream with Clone Six's death. Yeah, <laughs> four two clone six. Yeah, well, um, I'll finish off this round and then we'll end the stream, I guess, and then we'll deal with this later. And I'll try to expand some things. So, yeah, maybe this will be a thing for a bit. But yes, he's gonna make an attack. Okay, he's impaired. So I'm prone, so you get an accuracy. So it's a flat. Uh, okay. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> How so the he, turns have tabled. <laughs> he swings the hammer down, and Duke, you're just barely able to roll out of the way as it impacts with the ground. You can see it's like sending sparks of this energy that you can't even recognize as it pierces with the surface of the moon. Uh, and that was his first activation, and I guess he'll use his second one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh. Yeah, uh, which means he can just use that old weapon again. He's no longer impaired, I think. He, he is no longer slowed and no longer impaired. So let me get rid of that impaired. All right. Um, Why did you go Kermit on us there for a second? <laughs> did I? Yep. You're like, impaired? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to raise his weapon. <laughs> it's not easy swinging a hammer. <laughs> Clearly, because he missed the first time. <laughs> He's going to try again. Uh, here it comes. Okay. With the roll on Duke, who is still prone. Aha! <laughs> That was worse. <laughs> he is going to overcharge. Oh no! Oh, he can overcharge. Oh, I forgot God about that. It. <laughs> this guy can overcharge. Oh no! He's an ultra. <laughs> he will take one d six heat. Oh good. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's super annoying. The turns have definitely tabled. <laughs> but he will swing with the hammer again. <laughs> At Duke, who's still prone. You'll never get me. <laughs> never. <laughs> just boom, 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 and Duke is just back and forth, rolling out of the way. <laughs> Duke is using his thrust to just there. barely get out of the way. <laughs> He's like, "Look, my back can do the worm." <laughs> <laughs> Both of the SCFU, we hear, stay still. <laughs> You'll, he's just like, I'm going to crush you like a bug. <laughs> With that last activation, as we come to this last round, I guess we'll save this for part three. Yeah. Uh, it seems that um, you, you, you are able to figure out another solution to this problem. 
other than just blowing things up. But you do need to get rid of some of the obstacles in your way, including this very tough guy with this very big weapon. By blowing him up, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you're blowing him up specifically. Potentially. <laughs> Uh, but yes, that is where we're at right now. And, um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say about that to summarize it because you all were watching. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks a ton, everybody, for tuning in. Um, I would be extremely excited to do all of this again. Um, I probably should have known. And I think deep down I knew that we weren't going to finish all of this in one go. <laughs> We even killed an enemy turn one. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be fine. <laughs> but thanks a ton for joining and watching with us tonight. Um, hopefully you'll hop back again next time we stream this. Uh, if you're interested in the game, just be sure to check it out on LancerRPG.com or on itch.io. Uh, they did release an official expansion recently uh, for the Karakin Trade Baronies that I definitely want to take a look at because it has some new systems that I want to get some use out of. Uh, yeah, it is a very interesting space that I am very excited about. But before we hop off, I want to give everybody a chance to say goodbye. I guess going uh, with the stream order again, let's go with Ramon. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to catch us on Wednesdays, Calvin and I run a YouTube channel, Women with Dice. Uh, you can find us on YouTube, uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, we talk about tabletop RPGs, take a casual approach to GMing. So we just want to make more GMs. So, you know. And also, I bully Calvin a lot in there. That's also pretty funny. So, <laughs> it goes oh. back and forth sometimes. Yeah, check check that out. <laughs> um, and Wiki. Thanks for watching me do a lot of nothing that first half. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, we'll bully Calvin into making this a, a more regular thing. Nice. Yeah. Just go with the whole Calvin bullying. <laughs> <laughs> It's always bullying me into doing something that I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we're going down to blue then. Oh, uh, d d hi. Uh, I don't know. Thanks for watching. I'm happy I was able to be here. <laughs> um, sorry, I just kind of lit myself on fire and did nothing most of today. I mean, you were pretty dangerous to stay near, so. Yeah. You were on fire. Fire. Uh, I really have enjoyed I don't have anything to say or pitch. Uh, watch more of the one shots because you might find me. And I'm semi entertaining or being an idiot. <laughs> all right. Uh, Andy, it's all over to you. I don't have anything. All right. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. And I'm really, really happy that my pull the giant ship down onto a smaller mech uh, plan worked. <laughs> um come join us on monday where we'll be back for more star haven uh tomorrow is tomorrow which is 5 21 so if you're watching this on youtube sorry you already missed it uh origins registration uh alex aaron myself wiki and some others are running games uh i think everything's been added to the system now they they were at it was actually over 5,000 events earlier today when I last looked. So I think they're there. Uh, that's June 8th through the 12th. Look forward to seeing you there. If you get a chance to uh, join us and play in some of our games, we'd be happy to have you. Uh, that, I'll pass it over to Brian. Oh. Hey, everybody. I'm, uh, you know me. I was here at the beginning. So <laughs> <laughs> I will be around here for part three, maybe the series for Lancer, but um, y'all have a good night. And if you go to our store, just type in hashtag Lancer and uh, we don't have a store. So I'll go ahead and pass it <laughs> I was super confused for a moment there. <laughs> but if you do go to the Green Ronin store and type in code USPGR, you do get 5% off, I believe. Mm hmm um, additionally, um, new oh, stuff goes on YouTube on like Fridays and I forgot to mention, uh, next week is a one shot or possibly more since it's always more of the Marvel multiverse RPG. I think that's the name of it. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much has been announced about it yet. So I don't want to say too much about what's going on, but it is really fun. There's a really fun roster of heroes there. So be sure to check that out on Wednesday. And of course, all our regular shows on Monday and Tuesday with our superheroes in Star Haven and City of Destiny. And I believe that's everything. Um, blog posts, Thursdays. You guys know how this channel works. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks a ton for hanging out. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>